before we actually get into the video, I just want to say that this was really done unprofessionally. I did not really take the time to not say not research it, but just the fact that I don't have video proof of certain things and showing that certain things are faster. And the reason why I did is because I don't think this video is really going to blow up. If it does somehow blow up, I'll definitely make a part two explaining it way, way better than I did. This was literally a quick one, two, three that I did. But I'll definitely explain this way better. I'll actually go into detail to actually show video proof of people doing this faster while then we can't do this and that but this was just me just getting some stuff off my chest just for the fact that keyboarders and stuff always talking down on controller players but hopefully you do um enjoy the video and leave some comments down below if you did what's up youtube and twitter because this is most likely where i'm going to post this video and as you can see already from the title that this is going to be about the advantages that pc kids have and controller kids have because i'm kind of sick and tired of pc kids always talking shit about controller players how we have aim assist how it takes no skill how it's so op how this and the third and how it's just unfair for them that we shouldn't compete we shouldn't be allowed to compete with them in today's video i'm going to be showing y'all the advantages that pc kids have that console kids can't do and how this one little advantage that we do have is yet yeah, yes sometimes op in certain situations but definitely not as op as a mouse and keyboard player and now let's get into the first um example example one y'all have exactly and i counted this exactly 101 keys that y'all can actually use now of course you're not going to use 100 and you know fucking 101 keys um in your builds or whatever but just for the having the option to have that many keys and place your hand wherever you like on the keyboard is such a bigger advantage than having a controller in your hand we have exactly 12 buttons we can actually key bind to anything that we want literally and that's not even enough for all the stuff that we're allowed to actually put on our controller like literally it's, it's, it's literally not but hey that's not the biggest advantage in my opinion yeah, I just get to be more comfortable of where y'all want to place your fingers and all the other stuff. That's just one example that I want to give out. Nothing too crazy. Minor. No one ever complains about it. But yeah, let's get into the second example. Example two. Ooh, let's crack my bone. Also, I just want to apologize for my commentary. I usually do one takes. Or if I really, really fuck up, then of course I redo it. But I usually go as it is, no matter if I make a minor mistake, just for the fact that I feel like it's being real to my viewers and stuff. Because I feel like people that script stuff isn't real. Make it seem like commentary is really easy when it's not. When you really do mess up many, 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 many fucking times. And even the minor, the, 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 you see, I'm really fucking up. The smallest thing, you will reset your commentary. So there won't be none of that unless I really, really, really fuck up. But yeah, an example too is y'all actually able to keybind multiple keys to one command and for those of y'all that don't know what i'm talking about is this for the example or one of the most biggest exploit in fortnite for mouse and controller players mouse and keyboard players controller players does that make any sense <laughs> is being able to select a build and reset it instantly by certain people as you could be seeing on twitter or ever heard of the scroll wheel you can literally have your scroll wheel as your select edit and your reset edit as as for an instant reset on build you can edit it pop it and instantly reset your build by just flicking your scroll wheel or whatever button you do want to have do you know what we have to do on controller to do that let me let me just give you an example we have to first pull out our um switch mode to whatever button we have and you know we, we can't instantly press whatever wall or pyramid or floor that we want like literally there's, n there's no way we have to see, see that little circle on the screen we have to or whatever button it is you have to press that to get into your build right one second you have to actually click on whatever fucking button you want that that is that should be build a pro which is your l1 r1 da, 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 which is not that fast i mean that which is not that hard pretty fast not as fast not as a keyboard of course but you know we have more advantages than key, um, you know keyboards because of aim assist. Sorry, sorry, I'm being biased right now. But yeah, we have to click our edit button, click our sub select button. As of course, you, you mouse and keyboards have the same one, which is pretty much like your main button that you press constantly, and then have a confirm button. Now, yes, there is. I mean, yes, we can um, have our edit button and our confirm button the same as y'all keyboarders, which I didn't realize until I you know moved to my PC and stuff. That yeah, I have the same edit and confirm button off rip. For us, it was never like that. But also, what I've learned on controller is you can't do stuff as fast as you want to if you have your edit and your confirm as the same button. And I can show you right now. 
So I'm gonna have my confirm and my edit the same button as you can see. And I'm gonna bring out my build so you can see how fast I can do it. Alright? That's how fast we can do it. Which is the same button. Now if it's not the same button as I have it as my confirm over here. I'm gonna do it on triangle because on the wall is kinda hard to do. And yeah. Me not fucking up. Holy shit, I'm fucking up. Holy shit, I keep on fucking up. Look how much faster that is. Look how much faster that was. Now, I'm gonna probably throw in a PC clip of editing because I'm not about to embarrass myself on Twitter and fucking YouTube of trying to edit on a mouse and keyboard because I know I ain't the slowest, but I'm definitely ain't the fastest. But yeah, look how, look at that difference. Look at the difference of speed. Now, I thought it was such a smart idea to have my edit and confirm button the same because one, it takes less finger work because I'm pressing the same button multiple times to do one action. And two, it just, it, it, it made the most sense having less buttons to press. But you can't do it on controller because it gives you a delay for some reason, which makes no sense. But you already know, we, us controller players already have the most delay controls on console and PC, which makes no fucking sense. But yeah, that, that's example number two. Or example number three, actually. Is that, uh, no, no, that's example number two. Number two. Let's, let's get into example number three. Now, example number three. Y'all talk about the aim assist. Oh, let me go get a gun. Let me go get a gun. Let me, let me just fast forward this real quick. Yes. Precious. Precious. The precious L2 spam, right? The, the so OP thing that everyone, everyone complains about, right? Well, I'm going to give you some experience. And of course, I'm pretty sure you've seen videos and gameplay and gone against controller players that this L2 spam is not guaranteed. Sadly, I do not have any friends on right now or don't you want to be bothered by inviting people just to do this video. Is that I probably just throw clips in like, I usually, like, I, like I've been saying I'm going to do. So hopefully I do do that and not be lazy. <laughs> but yeah, first in, while on mouse and keyboard, you have the most precisest aim ever. You can aim wherever you want. You see my sit? Now, example three. I, I know, I know, I'm, I'm in a different area because um my my commentary got interrupted and yeah. Anyways, example three. The the holy L2 spam that everyone talks about. How OP it is, and you don't have to aim and this and the third. I could tell you from experience, and any other controller player can tell you by experience that the L2 spam is not OP. If it really was OP. Y'all would not be able to hang with us. We would not be able. We would not need to even build against y'all PC kids if our two spam, L two spam was that OP. We'll just literally just click it and just. Oh, you're right over there. Just like it actually takes somewhat some sense of practice. Now the only thing I can say that is OP is the deagle. Yes, I, in my most humblest voice, can say that the deagle definitely needs a nerf with the aim assist. Cause I am not going to fucking lie to y'all. I swear to God, I actually press L2 and press that, L2 and R2 instantly, and it's like a, almost a guarantee hit. It's like a 65 to 75 percent chance it will hit every time. I am not gonna lie about that. That's the only thing I feel in my need that needs to nerf. AR, shotgun, sub, normal pistol, snipers. No, aim assist should not be changed in no type of way. Just for the fact that it is not that OP. Now I may think it's OP because of these Twitter clips and these little little 10 second clips of someone actually just abbreviating, can't say the word, fuck off, <laughs> you know, just massacring someone. It does not happen all the time. Because if it did happen all the time, 80% of the players that go to skirmishes will be controller players while there will be like 20 mouse and keyboard players there. But guess what? It's not. It's actually 5 to 10 controller players. And not only that about the L2 spam. When we actually do aim, when we're not, you know, clicking, clicking, clicking our L2, aiming or, or even moving your aim and your analog is the most hardest thing to do because one, it is a plastic stick. It is honestly a plastic stick that we're aiming with our thumb. Our thumb, I'm sorry, I have to say it, it's our thumb that we're aiming with. Like that takes actual skills to actually follow someone with our analog, with our thumb following someone. That takes skill, in my opinion. And maybe to others too, hopefully. Not only that, when we want to stop moving our aim, we have to let go of our analog. 
and then shoot or whatever or when we're chasing someone and then shoot and then do that or follow them like this we have to actually get off of our you know our aiming stick to stop moving like when I'm moving like this for me to stop moving I have to stop I have to literally take my thumb off of it to stop so that that's timing especially with shotguns when we flick and stuff that's timing that we have to do with our analog of letting go of the analog while on mouse and keyboard that that y'all train so so hard for I'm not gonna lie yeah, I do even though I low-key feel like I'm not saying I'm gift, gifted with a mouse and keyboard aim but I definitely do feel like I have above average aim already me barely playing mouse and keyboard but just look look how precise y'all could be look how slow y'all could move just following someone in the sky so far away from you look look how precise y'all could be this slowly yes yes this do take, take practice I'm not saying that this this is gifted to everyone that as soon as you jump a mouse and keyboard you just like I'm not saying that but just for the fact that y'all can do this and trace someone and even follow someone so precise and finding your actual sense it's like the most biggest advantage and guess what when y'all move y'all have to move your mouse and guess what when y'all stop moving it it stops while on controller when we move it we have to fully get off of our analog to stop moving while on mouse and keyboard you actually could just when you're moving just stop all right got to interrupt it again let's um get back into the topic but yeah like look look at my sensitivity my sensitivity is low-key high as fuck but just for the fact that my l2 which if y'all don't really know what um aim assist actually does all it does is it slows down your aim onto someone it just slows it down on fortnite is it a little op does it actually adjust your aim yes i'm not gonna lie it does it sometimes adjusts your aim to the person don't get me wrong but it's needed especially in a game of bloom which i feel like that's the most stupidest thing still to the t today of fortnite a a shooter that has bloom i i'm sorry i'm from call of duty that just fucking feels weird and stupid to me i feel like if you aim at something you shoot it should hit yes in real life it's not like that but holy shit man like this is ridiculous but yeah so just for the fact that that's what aim assist does it all it does is slows it down to the person like actually just slows it down on the person yes that is that an advantage that we do have yes but you have to understand that y'all do have your advantage is in aiming and y'all act like you have never beamed someone out the sky or you know laser some kid across the map with your your, your kovacs you know like uh, yeah yes we, we do have our advantages in aiming and stuff i'm not going to lie about that but like in my opinion i feel like kovacs is way more op there's there's, there's so many times that i've been in champs or the top 3000 you know qualifying da, 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 and i've gotten lasered out the sky to a kovac fucking player and how do i know that they're a kovac fucking player because i know that they're a fucking a mouse and keyboard player after the fact that who kills me i actually see it i don't see l2 spam i don't see ttv i actually see some og names that i've known or seen or, or faced many times through these competitions and i know they're mouse and keyboard and this is the fact that they did to go <laughs> like holy shit like holy shit that y'all yeah, yeah, could literally just be precise just follow, just follow me like yeah, I actually can be precise as fuck can control players do that? kind of look, look look at the little taps I'm doing and look, look how far I'm going I'm actually doing little taps and look how far I'm going like aim assist all it does is slows it down for us it, that, that's like I just wanna I, like I'm sorry I'm, I'm, I'm like I'm really on this topic just for the fact that I just it, it, it doesn't bother me but it's really annoying when Bouncing keyboard players really think that it's that OP. Like, yes, it has its OP moments. But, like I said, if it was that OP, y'all would not be able to compete with us. It, it's We're trying to compete with y'all, so. Like, that, that's all I wanted to get my point of what on, was on that um, situation. Example four. Well, four. <laughs> Example four is y'all building. Eh, I don't really feel like y'all are not saying better than us because y'all probably are certain to a certain extent but i feel like that is finally neutral that building doesn't really matter but editing editing definitely does so like i said before with our um analog well for, for just for me this is probably from most of fortnite controller periods just for the fact that our confirm button is still not a, is not a button that we don't take our um our finger off of analog to press you know the button that we use to confirm 
but th there are some people that you know change it so they never let go of their analog but even then when you do do that like look at look at the rotation i just did and i'm only over here when i edit and then i have to fix myself if i want to press circle and shoot or do it and then shoot you know i i have to readjust myself same thing as a mouse and keyboard don't laugh at my edits same thing as a mouse and keyboard but as but for y'all it's i feel like it's so more fluent and more natural for y'all just for the fact that y'all go like that and y'all are still in the same peripheral of where you want to edit or how you edit you know like y'all literally if y'all master it and practice it y'all can literally just go like this in the most humblest way humblest way in the most easiest way wow oh, shit, I wow i feel like on a, uh, on a controller you literally have to do that you have to. There's, there's, there's no way of no way of you doing this. There's, there's no way. Like, look, there's, there's no way of you doing that. Depending on your sense, and if your sense is really slow, you can't turn and you'll get beam or get shot in your back and not be able to build in time. So, like, just look at that. Like, yes, I can be fast with it, but this just it doesn't feel as natural as doing it on a mouse and keyboard of how you can literally just practice. Like, look, look, I literally did that on my first try. I didn't even think I was gonna get that on my first try. I got that on my first try. Like. Come on, come on. And to conclude this video, like, y'all just, I don't know. Yes, we have our advantages in aim assist. That's it. Do we have advantages in anything else? No, I honestly don't think we have a, an advantage in anything else but being able to uh, have L2 to adjust our aim. Is aiming a big factor in Fortnite? Yes, but you gotta remember that this shit is bloom too, so that plays a big factor. I don't know, man. I just wanted to get my opinion. Hopefully this video doesn't... Well, hopefully it does blow up, which I really doubt just for the fact that how small of a YouTuber and, you know, following I have on twi t Twitter. But I just want to get the fact that, that y'all PC kids have so much more of an advantage than us, you know, controller players. I'm, I'm just tired of it, man. I'm honestly just tired of... I'm hearing that, you know... Aim assist is so OP, they shouldn't compete. Aim assist is so OP. Y'all need to nerf it. And yeah, and you actually did get a nerf, but it was so it was so quickly fixed just for the fact that it, it literally was unplayable. Like thank God that I was at school and I didn't play on it. But just hearing what people saying it was just like, oh man, like really we have one little advantage of actually the, the, the like yeah, like <sighs> Yes is an advantage, but yeah also have an advantage in your aiming. That takes, yes, it does take skill to do, but I feel, in my opinion, it's way easier than controlling a keyboarder. And just for the fact that these, these, these um, keyboarders actually just hopping on controller and, you know, killing l 2 kids, these, these bots, I want you to go do that in the cup. I want you to go do that on, on a, on an actual higher level of competition in Fortnite. I want you to see how far that L2 scam gets you. With people that know actually how to build and all that other stuff. But let's see, let's see if, it, if your other um, factors of using a controller um, kicked in. You know, your building speed, your editing speed against a mouse and keyboard player. Like, I want, I want to see that actually happen. But yeah, thanks for watching the video, guys, and hopefully, uh, you know, mouse and keyboard players finally understand our pain. Thank you.